Having recently started in the role, the head of the junior school at Swan Christian College has begun to consider how AEDC data can be used to plan for children's learning. We started focusing more on developing the whole child, not just the academic child. What I did realise that if children are vulnerable in one or more areas, that can really affect their NAPLAN results. So I just wanted to make sure that we really captured as much data as we could and start working with what we could know so that the kids could just have great results by the end of junior school. We know that the general cohort that we have in our school has reasonably good academic results. You know, we come from a reasonably good socio-economic area. But the surprising part of the data was um, how much kids aren't necessarily developing in the area of social skills. Our AEDC data really highlighted to us that that's a good focus area for us when they come in at kindy. So we are developing programs that really help uh, with the social and emotional needs of the kids so that um, we develop leaders. So another thing that the ADC data helped me to focus on was the role of the school before children come to school. Now, what do we do when they're zero to four? So I really started investigating things in the local community um, that can help parents and just being aware that there are things out there that the school can connect with, that um, we can have better community links in and we can support parents. Um, really, was a, I thought it's a great focus and something I want to continue doing. Having connected with the AEDC, Swan Christian College is now working to shape its programs to better support children's holistic development. In 2011, the principal at Westfield Park Primary School received information about the upcoming AEDC data collection. This prompted him to download the school's previous AEDC school profile, where he recognised the potential of the data to support the school's planning. I was actually unaware of AEDC, so I, I located the school's data from 2009 and was pretty shocked at what I saw, you know, the number of children who were developmentally vulnerable. I spent a bit of time um, sharing the previous data with teachers and talking about you know, the need for us to have accuracy in collection and that this data would inform what we may end up um, allocating resources to in school. What the data enabled us to do was to start thinking through strategies of how we could reach out to those parents and families before the children arrived at school and being very aware that you know, those children would move their way through school presenting us with challenges in their learning and their higher level of needs. One of the things that uh, the AEC data enabled us to do was to have an evidence base as to how I was able to allocate school resourcing as a school leader. The AEDC data forms a, a strong data set that we use in that. So it's actually mentioned in the strategic plan how we, we have a need to address the concerns and needs of children and families before they reach school. I needed to do a lot of work with staff, educating them around what they were seeing and what they were dealing with and how we could provide more support to the child. Connecting with the AEDC data supported Westfield Park Primary School to reflect on how they shape their policies, practices and approaches to learning to support children within the context of their community. When I attended the community workshop about how to use the AEDC data in our service, it really um, highlighted how there are so many alignments between the AEDC, the EYLF and the National Quality Standards. So I returned back to our service and we started to have some conversations with management and the educators around what we could do with this data to better um, serve our community. When we did uh, look at the data, we decided that we wanted to focus on one area because we thought it would be a lot better to do one thing well and to try and look at lots of different areas. So our focus was on physical well-being, uh, looking at children both from a nutritional and health perspective and also their growth and fine motor skills. We thought about how if a child um, has adequate nutrition that they're going to be able to do things like run and climb and jump and do a lot of physical exertion and physical activity. Um, so for us nutrition was where we started. AEDC data supported the Lockridge Early Learning Centre 
to plan for children's holistic development and weave this through their centre practices. Start your journey. To find out more on how you can use the AEDC to start your journey, visit the Western Australian Department of Education or AEDC website.